Hello and welcome back to round 45 or whatever of Slime Game Equestria Girls. What the m am I doing here? <sighs> if I look content with my meal, well, you see, the reason for that is I just came back from Arby's. I'm not saying that Arby's tastes like hedgehog meat. I'm just saying I like Arby's, and if the characters on this thing continue to tick me off, I'm going to mess my freezer. Mess my freezer. Let's see, freezer. We just found that something out. What is it, Trixie? Can't you see I'm about to eviscerate these two writers for what they have done? Uh, yeah, about that. I am going to make them pay and suffer for every single bad thing that they have written. Uh, yeah, there's a little problem with that, let's bring her. I'm going to make them see the error of their ways and they were 10! Excuse me. They were 10 years old when they wrote this. They were 10 years old. They were 10 years old. They were 10 years old. Yes. I just spent 14 chapters beating down a 10 year old's thick. Yep. Well, now they're all for you, Akatoka! <sighs> okay. I now feel like I, I'm a little more lenient towards these guys because, let's face it, nobody wrote anything good when you were 10. I didn't write anything good when I was t 10. Hell, you should have seen some of my old stuff when I was 10. It was crappy. It was cra it was cra crappy and full of Gary Stews that would have made this guy sh shudder. Still, nothing is without review. Nothing is without merit. And if anybody's listening to this, I do hope that they take the time to realize that, yes, they messed up in the past, but the problem, but they can always make up for it and look forward to the future and try to fix their mistakes. Like what I've been pointing out, they just need to fix the world building, and the characterizations, and the romance, and the shipping, and the fight scenes, and the use of music, and everything else. But still, I'm going to be fair here, at least they are 10. At least now I know this little si side bit. Still doesn't mean I'm not going to turn this little story into ki kindling and proceed to rip it to shred shreds. It's by inch! But hey, at least now I have a frame of reference. You poor, poor, miserable sides. Chapter 14. Ready? They were four, 10 when they wrote this? And nobody, and the parents didn't stop them. <laughs> the dark beast roared loudly. Why do they always have to roar loudly? Why can't they just ever yell softly? Destroy them! Destroy them all! Night Rose, move it on the Night Rose. <sighs> you know, Neo. Whoa. You you need to change your name. What is that? Well, think about it. Memphis. Night Rose. These two have so names that I could think of songs for. You don't. Y you need to get something new. Well, I could always use a lookalike. No, 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 no. Nobody wants to hear a lookalike again. I played that song way too many times on my MP3 player. Dark turned to Rose and snarled. What are you doing? He grabbed up her, grabbed her neck and began to choke her. Stop! I am your master! Has that ever worked in the history of ever? Dark Chaos only snarled as he tightened his grip. Chaos Spear. So, um, once again, this story is going to obviously have mostly, um, shot assigned characters fighting while these girls are just going to be busy palling around and having uh, burgers. Sadly, the... Girls are not going to appear here. He focuses there as he began to glow. Suddenly, Ace began to change. Golden, blue, bulky shoulder pads, chest plate armor, leg armor, and an arm cannon. I was right here. Fart on Ace. Wait. What? When can he do that? He just turned into Mega Man? He just... What well, wasn't that you who I was drinking? We're fighting with you, Mega Man! Sonic said. 
Mega Man smiled. Are you dead? Let's go! Again, Fix sucks to high heaven, but can't fault him for the excellent taste of music. Dark held up his own arm cannon and fired a dark beam, and two beats firing for power. So, what we got here is Mega Man versus Treble. And we are once again continuing on with the Sonic fight. Um, and meanwhile, the girls are just busy powering around doing who knows how what. Because, you know, they might as well just be cardboard cutouts. Hey, maybe that's what I could use. And. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> oh my gosh! The main six have actually entered the fight! Well, the cardboard cutouts. They refuse. They still refuse to act in this story. Dark had enough of roar to the girls. He goes down with his dark claw at Ray. He targeted Rainbow, but she quickly moved down away. Gave Dark a quick card to stomach. stomach. He stumbled back, but quickly shook it off. Shake it off! Shake it off! He looks at Rainbow once more and punched Rainbow in the face. She crashed to the wall with quite a pain in the wall. Finally got up and rushed to her cheek. Apple Jack swung his legs for Sonic coming and quickly caught. Apple Jack's eyes white and shocked. He covered her leg like it was nothing. Dark, dark picked her up and started swinging her and throwing her around, 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 around again. Apple Jack Rainbow tried to. The cardboard cutout yelled, yell, Stop! Someone yelled at Dark. Dark turned and saw someone he hadn't met entirely. Starlight Glimmer? Starlight Glimmer, who's pinch hitting for uh, su Sunset, stood looking at Dark. You don't have to do this, Dark. This isn't like you. Fight the darkness! I know the real you is in there! Come on! Free yourself! Dark pointed his arm cannon at her, prepared to fire, but suddenly his mind forces the water to cannon. He started confused and tried to force his arm back, but failed. I will not let you harm any of my fri friends, you beast, Dark's voice spoke, especially this one. I care too much for her! Yes! And now, I will now pause for exactly how long and how much time has been devoted to Dark and his relationship with Sunset. Ready? Here we go. <gasps> And that is how long they've had to develop a relationship. Makes it easy, doesn't it? Half of Dark's body was Dark Beast. The other was Dark Steel. Can we ever use a different third than Dark here? Oh wait, I forgot. Ten years old! They seem to be fighting each other. Give. Me. Back. My. Body! Dark side. Dark Beast always saw him. Gah, can't do it. He's too strong. Hey, Dark, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? I want to apologize, but I can in good conscience. Starlight Glimmer walked up next to Dark's half and gathered his hand. Yes, you can, Dark. You're stronger than him. I believe in you. Just like you believe in me. But more importantly, to, to believe in me that believes in you that believes in me. Dark eyes lit up and he smiled. Dark Beast has began yelling in pain as he glowed blue. Dark and Starlight's bodies were engulfed in a bright white spear. Fury me, Sticker. The spear suddenly expanded and burst, causing everyone to shield their eyes. Sunglasses! When the light down, everyone looked where Stark and Starlight ga were aghast. They were hugging and smiling at each other, too. Why? Because believe it or not, Dark just won the lottery. Hooray. How's if one normal girl managed to free Dark? Yet five superpowered guys can't do it! Gee, it's almost like this story is about the Equestria girls and not Sonic. It's almost like they're the main characters or something. Or are you just sexist? I'm sexist! Duh! Well, Ace, you are? Yeah! I kinda am! Have you ever noticed? All Gary Stews are inherently sexist. Me, Lightning Dawn, Dark. We are all inherently sexist. It's in our blood. The only reason why Rizu isn't more sexist is because he's played by Likara. And Likara don't have a sexist bone in his body. Ding! Clearly, since it's Starlight Glimmer isn't a normal girl, at least not the dark. Yeah, she's his nightlight. He's looked back at Sunset Dark. 
Oh, now I get it. And more romance, and where? And you know, the big question that has yet to be answered is where the frack are we in the timeline? Really? Does anybody have any questions? I. Oh yeah, I forgot. 10 years old! I mean, my gosh, they are just 10 years old! Didn't anybody teach these kids about the timeline? The elementary school? Something? He's going to help it laugh a little. I can't believe Dark is actually going on a date with her. I could never be more proud of him. He thought, then he felt a soft hand on his shoulder, and saw it was Fluttershy, blessing deeply. Once again, we're trying to find replacements for the girls. But long story short, um, Fluttershy just um, asked Ace uh, if, she, if he could go to the dance with her. Once again, I would like to uh, pause this video for as long as they actually took the time to develop Fluttershy and Ace's relationship and to show how close the Ace and Fluttershy have been. Ready? On three. I will pause for three seconds. One. Two. Three. And that is how long they've had to develop their relationship. The group, the group went wide-eyed that both Sun Sunset and Fluttershy have asked two newbies to go to a dance with them. I'm not. It, I'm not. Those two new guys are the only ones. I mean, unless this fic decided to change its mind completely and decide to give us instead a uh, Fluttershy Sunset ship. I bet I can make it work. Oh, Fluttershy, about the things I said to you. No, it's all right. I realized how long last. You, you said them not out of hate, but out of love. Sun, Fluttershy, does does this mean that you? Yes, yes. Take me, oh you magnificent lady. That was probably your cheapest excuse for a ship. The Turks he had ever seen in her life. You're wrong, Trix. You forget that one. You forgot that one time I shipped a uh, bottle of Dr. Pepper with a bottle of obviously root beer. Hey, baby, I'm a Dr. Pepper bottle. I taste great, and I'm fair, and I keep people awake. I'm an IBC root beer, and I, I taste delicious, and I have the perfect fizz. Let's start get going together, man. Yeah, and then I had them both have a baby A and W together. That was probably the weirdest story I had ever written in my entire life, but it was fun. Yes, and unfortunately, you just told the entire audience that. Yeah, and I don't think I weirded out. Applejack chuckled. I never knew that those two would ask any boy for a dance, especially well. Is it just me or did Applejack's language barrier die in between fix? And then Fluttershy asked Ace if he could stay with her for a while. At her place. Alone. I... You... you do you guys even know what... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. Ten years old. You guys are ten. You don't even know what sex is. You barely have the finest understanding of what sex is. So you're probably thinking, not like me, who's thinking a boy and a girl in the same room together means trouble. You're thinking, they're going to have sleepovers. Yay! And all I can think of is, my, this is a kid's show, isn't it? And if any of you recognize that reference from a certain pirate cartoon, I will love you forever. Take for instance, this line, this little bit of dialogue. Rainbow, is it okay for Dark and live with us? Sure, you two could have the room that Sonic was supposed to have. Where am I going to sleep, Sonic asked. Rainbow blessed. Well, you could sleep with me. I have no problem sharing my bed with you. Again, I'm thinking... No! Two teenagers with those type of hor hormones go going <laughs> quite crazy? No. You're thinking, 
Yay! They can sleep in the same bed together! They can probably jump on the bed and have funsies! And it almost makes me think of big in a way! Well, alright. I get the house up! And then he proceeds to try to jump onto the top bunk! That's what I'm thinking of right now! Ace, what are you doing? I'm looking for something. He's called out. He stopped where his room was. And you knew this throughout all the rubble, Hal. Finally touched something on scratch and smooth. It was a picture of Ace and Dark in their hedgehog forms. Why does he have a picture of them in their hedgehog forms? Why would they still be hedgehog forms there? Why didn't he leave that back, ho back home? Thick, are you ever going to actually pose a something that defies all logic and actually answer my questions? Or are you going to expect me to just start filling in the plot holes myself? Because right now, I think uh, there's too many plot holes here here to fulfill to fill a nice street. And personally, I'm afraid to drive down the street because of all the plot holes. I can't believe I can't believe it survived. I can't believe it as well. It's our family photo before our mother pa was possessed by the darkness. No parents. So I get her growing behind him. They turned and saw Memphis carrying Neo. Whoa! It was still set down and not Rose. We'll be back, you two. We'll fess you off one way or another. Mark my words. Next time, gadget. Next time. <laughs> Dead Memphis teleported away. Stop them! They better be ready. No starting me us, cause we'll defeat them once and for all. When we see them again. Why not just stop them now? There's a ship. You can go right now. Stop them. Fly. Go on. Do 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 do. More romance, bull crud, and me. Meanwhile, back with tails and blank. I was wondering, if you're not going with anyone at the dance tomorrow, would you like to to go with me? <sighs> okay, I am right now. Dialing as fast as I can my lawyer to make sure that there is nothing, nothing that can incriminate me from reading the idea that a 13-year-old is about to go out with a 18-year-old. Again, 10. They're not seeing the problem here. They're not exactly fully developed to understand the problem. Their hormones are just starting to kick in. They're just starting to develop. So they have no idea what the basic problem is here. They have no idea what's going on. They're just curious right now. They probably don't have a single clue. Which, once again, makes ripping this into so much more fun. Meanwhile, back with Shadow and Pinky. Well... I would say Pinky, but nobody's here. <sighs> okay. Twi All right. Trixie. Tw Twilight. Tempest. What we got for us? Well, we're trying to see if we can't get the Ruby Girls to come in again. But every time we tell them the plot, they run around screaming, Hell no, not this crap again. <sighs> can we pay them anything? No, besides, they're busy with volume 6 of Ruby, and they're busy t handling a group of rude idiots. Oh, great, not more of them. Okay, what about the red versus blue team? Can we use those guys? No, they're busy on a time travel mission. <sighs> okay, so, who do we got temporarily until we can beg either the Senshi or Team Ruby to come in and save our butts? Uh, well, Tempest has found something. And trust me, you're not going to like it. Tempest, at this point, I'll take anything. I'll take anything in order for us to bypass this until we get the girl, until we get something back. Chapter 15. 
Rainbow's house. 6.30 a.m. Sunrise. It's like Rainbow Dad. 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 Such a summer dark steel egg. It's POV. You are there. Rainbow's eyes open slightly. It's impossible to hear onto her eyes. She looked at her clock and saw it was 6.30 a.m. They had school today at 7.30. So, she hit the alarm clock and went back to bed. When she saw that it was 7.29, she hit the alarm clock and went back to bed. When she saw it was 8, she hit the alarm. She took out the alarm clock out back and stabbed it with a puncher's knife and then went back to bed. So said Silver Dead woke her up at 8.10 and then got her out of bed. Saying that she had to wake up at 8, so did she. Rainbow looked into Sunset's be bedroom and saw that Sunset and Dark were still snuggled to each other. <laughs> Sorry, the idea of Sunset banging a um, poorly designed and poorly written um, Gary Stewell scene caused me to, to cause me to regurgitate all my innards. My apologies, my apologies, and I will be busy cleaning this up for a while. She did remember that the school had an early breakfast today because of the school dance tonight. What school has an early release for a dance? Don't they usually have those on Saturdays? She smiled what's up behind him and wrapped her arms around him. Sabrika! 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 Wait a minute, what? Tempest! <sighs> Look, I had to gather some of your Pokemon from out back and have them read all of Rainbow, all the Ponies' lines. My apologies. If you want to book something, call someone else. I can only do so much for you. Alright, fine. Good morning, Sabrika. How did you sleep last night? Sabrika, Sabrika! Good. I begin making everyone breakfast. Yes, because I still see Sonic making breakfast. Are you sure he's making breakfast and he didn't just go out to Hardee's? Sabrika! And then they proceeded to do more romance bits. I have made this look uh, completely awkward. And then Rainbow tapped Sunset Soldier and she wo woke up. Flare! 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 Sabrika! 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 You could have gotten a ho ho for, uh, for Sunset's part. I would have. But unfortunately, ho ho couldn't fit into the studio. Oh, she could so! I'll be right back! Can't tell me my hot oak couldn't fit in. Right, Phoenix? Are you sure you can't get in here? Oh, come on, baby. You can do it. <sighs> Fine, you can lay out here. Have a Pokemon tree. Nice, oh. Okay, so apparently we'll have to deal with all my uh, four legged and two legged uh, Pokemon. Except for you, Spyro. Spyro, you keep outside watch. Chor! This is what happens when you own a whole tons of Pokemon. Good mor morning, Flareon. Flee! Well, you are adorable. So cute! Yay! Adorable Flareon. Flare. Sunset looked back at his body as he walked away. Flare, 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 yeah. oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta read this line out loud. Sunset looks back at his body, blessing in the process. He is such a great boyfriend. I am glad I'm with him and not Flash Century. I don't know who this Flash Century is. Maybe he's the son of Flash Gordon. Or maybe he's the Flash's long lost cousin or something. Meanwhile, back with Tails, Twilight, Fluttershy, and Ace. Oh, I am going to love to see which of my Pokemon you guys brought in to replace Twilight and Fluttershy. I am just so dang curious. The piece of light hits Ace's face as he started to stir. Wake up from his peaceful sleep. Ah, Pennsylvania, the Nisinina, the Bone, Black Panther. Uh, has more red style dog. From the day we arrived on this planet, 
flinking headfirst into the sun. There is more to be seen than can ever be found. It's a song alive, and it moves us up. Ta -ta 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 -ta. What is it, sir? I'm busy singing. What, you woke me up, but what do you mind? Fine, fine, fine. Such a beautiful day in Wakanda, and I can't even enjoy it. He looked down and saw Sylveon sleeping peacefully under his grass. We replace Fluttershy with Sylveon! Makes sense. Yeah, 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 I, I get it, I get it. He placed a small kiss on her head, making her look adorable! She looked up and smiled and blushed down. Sylvie! 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 Good morning, Fluttershy. Did you sleep well? Sylveon! Sylveon? Very. Lean forward and kiss Sylveon on the lips, surprising and making her blush deeply. I think it just start to feel creepy, don't I? Fireside nestled once more into Ace's chest, listening to the soft beating of his heart. It was like a soft song, soothing her mind and body. Again, these are ten years old. I'm shocked that nobody gave them the facts of life yet! Can, can you imagine that they were just like, hmm... Sleepovers! Yay! Yay! Oh my god, what is this was- Oh my god, what is this was written by Mabel? Actually, part of that would- Actually, if this was written by Mabel, it would be a whole lot more fun and a lot more insane. But I can only imagine that Mabel's idea of having a guy and a girl getting together in the same bed is like this. See, it's thinking that. See, she doesn't. Isn't thinking that they're going at. Oh no, no, no. She's probably thinking, "Wow, a whole bunch of people jumping up and down out here, rhythmic pounding from here. They must be playing pillow fight." Oh, but their door's locked. You can't let me in. Fine. Uh, Mabel, I really don't think you're going there. Oh, shut up! I can do this. It's gonna be a lot of fun and. Hey, they're not playing pillow fights, they're just hugging! Thank you, that was your Gravity Falls reference for today. And don't worry, Bill is still in stone last I checked. Mm -hmm. Yep, still making a lovely lawn ornament on my porch. Their beautiful moment was interrupted when a carrot hit the fire side on the head. Susie! Thank you, Angel! You truly are a gift of the gods! So, after Angel proceeded to mess around, tw she walked around to the kitchen and saw Twilight and Tails tinkering around with stuff. What kind of stuff? An atom bomb. And who is Twilight replaced by? Yes, Beyond! Yes, Beyond! Of course. Shoot, why not just replace all the main six with various Eevees? Twilight's phone went off and she looked out. It's a message for, for Rainbow! It's the Rainbow Signal! The back cave! What's wrong, Twilight? That's what Twilight bursts into laughter. Beyond! Na, 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 Yeah, it's some sort of picture. Meanwhile, back with Sallow and Pinky. Ha! You can't replace this one with a uh, evolution. Although, I am quite curious as to who you're going to bring around for this one. Hmm. And okay, there's some more romance stuff between the two. We have Pinky, who is played by... Arikara! Are you cool, cool, cool? Hey, I haven't caught one of those yet. No, but your little brother did. He did? Stupid, no good playing sun and moon, little brother. Thinks he's so cool playing that game. So, anyway, as everybody get, is slowly getting back together, looking at the photos and having conversations and. Oh my god, can we please move on? Do we really need to sit through this whole entire thing?
thing! We don't care about the dance. We just want the story! Can we please move on? Wait. I'm thinking like a ten- I should be thinking like a ten-year-old here. And then, Sonic and f tail Sonic proceeded to get Tails to recharge the ring. And wait a minute, it's sad to have his cannon in here. Why- why not, uh, just reference the, you know, Satam Eretis, or are we just gonna leave out Satam for some odd reason, even though you guys have been clearly fusing all, every other single Sonic reality in existence? She was pulled by her thoughts when she bumped into someone. Two hours car, and she opened her eyes and blessed a little at who it was. It was Flash Century. Uh, what am I looking at, Espeon? Espeon! Look, Espeon, I like you and all and everything, but I'm not that much of an Eevee trainer. Heck, I'm not even into Pokemon. I'm actually into Digimon. Pion. But you're cute too. Why a size and bright break the sense. Listen, Twilight, I understand things didn't work out between the two of us. I'm hoping that the two of us can start over. And I'm wondering if you want to start uh, go to the dance with me? Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for some flat, for some flash ba passing stupidity like you've never seen before. You know what really ticks me off about the flash passing on uh, Starfleet? Mike and only did that because he hates Twilight. My name is Miles, but everyone calls me Teals. Flash, Flash Century, Donna, Donna, ba 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 ba. Da na 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 da na 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 da na da na da na 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 You know my name. My apologies. Anyway, going on. In in meanwhile, shot dark in sunset. We're messing around in English class. I don't like English class because it stinks, and it's a very poorly done class too. I I, I usually sleep through it, so instead I decided to draw doodles. And in months since I draw doodles, I decided that Dark would draw doodles too. So Dark is drawing doodles, and since it's drawing doodles, and they're looking at each other, and they're talking about their backstories, and they're talking about how well they mess together. And then Sunset talks about how bad she's feeling, and then Dark says how bad he's feeling. And then they're going to just cuddle with each other because they're, they're so cute together. And that, that's what they do when they ro when they're romance. Like my, my mama and daddy, they, they sometimes get together to do that too. Sometimes they kiss and sometimes they snuggle and hug. They say that they do that because they like each other very very much. And then everybody proceeded to play soccer, soccer because I really like that game and I think that game really gets un underestimated. And meanwhile, we finally see what's going on with Knuckles and Applejack. So Knuckles, who are you going with? I'm going with Applejack. Have you had any screen time together? Nope. Has there been any insinuation that you two like each other? Nope. Well, considering the fact that, uh... Fluttershy and Ace barely had a single moment of screen time together, I decided to, to get together with Applejack. And now... For as... Now, to pause. For as long as Applejack and... T F Knuckles have had screen time together. And anyway, as I was saying, back to my kid, kid summarizing this stuff. And then, Tails and Twilight proceeded to go together. My mommy read this part and said that, well, uh, she didn't like the idea of Tails and Twilight proceeding to work together and proceeding to come to get together and, and because something about age gap and that they could be predatory, but I, I don't really know what that means, so I don't really care about that. That I just think they look cute together, and I think it's perfectly fine for a 13-year-old to be together with a 17-year-old, because, I mean, after all, they just hold hands, and that's all dating is, right? Because I don't really think that there's anything major that I should be worrying about. Because, you know, this one time, I read a porn book, book that just had a bunch of pictures of pe naked people just hugging and playing together. They were doing some really weird things. And when my daddy saw me hold his book, he told me never to read it again. And then he proceeded to burn it and said he was sorry to Mama. He and da he, she and Ma Daddy did got into a fight, but it's okay, because a few days later, they made up. And then, a month later, I found out I'm getting a big, I'm going to be a big brother! Yay! 
I'm going to be a big brother. I don't know why my mom and dad got back together so easily and made up for it, but I just glad that I'm going to have a little brother from all of this. And so, everybody talked about how cute they were and, and how awesome that they were going to be together. And then suddenly, somebody proceeded to trash the gym. It was all all wrong and evil again. But that was mainly because it was evil evil Amy. Amy, who was still inside the school for some sort of re reason. And then everybody started, breaking, started blaming Sunset for no apparent reason at all. And this, turn, of course, turned Sunset into, into an evil, cruel person, so that way, Dark could actually help and calm her down. And meanwhile, you, you, you're never gonna get this. This is gonna be so much awesome. Because soon, because, you see, Flash Sentry proceeded to use the Red Chaos Emerald and become a Red Person of Darkness. Ain't that cool? It's like so cool. Because he got possessed by the Red Chaos Emerald. Well, that's all for my story, so I'm going to get going now. Bye-bye!